So if you guys are trying to upgrade your graphic card or you are trying to fix off your corrupted graphic drivers, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can safely clean install your graphic drivers for your PC for any scenarios. This guide will be covering all kinds of safety measures that you should be taking while you're upgrading your graphic card. Like me, when I'm upgrading my RTX 2070 Super with the uh, AMD Radeon RX 6600, not an upgrade that I'm proud of, but stick around till the end of this video and let's Let's get started with the intro. All right, firstly, let's go to the screen of your Windows and over here, the very first step that you have to do is create a resource point just in case you mess anything up in the process. Over here, look for a local disk C and simply click and create a restore point called a restore just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once you're done with that, simply close it, close the properties. Next step is downloading a DDU. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. DDU stands for Display Driver uninstaller and here is how it works over here you will find all of these files you cannot use it right away what you have to do is press on your windows key and then click on power and over here select it restart but before clicking on this press shift on your keyboard and then click on restart this will ask you to choose an option over here and what you have to do is click on troubleshoot then click on startup settings over here and then you want to enable safe mode click on restart over here what this will do is this will basically boot up your pc in safe mode in the advanced option right away, you have to simply press enter to boot your PC in safe mode and make sure you are not connected to your internet. Okay, once you're on your desktop, head over to the DDU folder over here and then open up the DDU or the display driver uninstaller right away as administrator. Once you're over here, simply click on OK and then leave all of these settings to default. Simply close it and then select your device type to GPU and select your currently installed graphic card. My currently installed graphic card is right over here. That is the RTX 2070 Super. Simply click on clean and restart. This will start removing all of your current graphic card drivers and all other components uh, that are installed with it. And it's completely safe. Don't worry, you'll not lose anything. This is the safest way to clean your graphic card drivers. Now, once that is done, it will automatically restart your PC. And now you guys can see this display. While my other display is completely turned off, you'll only see one display on your PC if you do not have a GPU driver currently active. Don't worry, this is completely normal. You now have to go into the process of removal of your graphic card and installation of the new one. So let me just get back to you after that. Okay, so now I have restarted my PC and I have uh, downgraded my graphic card actually. As you guys can see right over there, I have installed it and I have given it the power and everything. And now we can move to the screen again. Okay, once you're in the desktop, you can see everything would be lagging if you're using a moving desktop like me. So what you have to do is open up your Chrome and you have to simply look up for Adrenaline Download Windows 11. This will take you to the AMD website. Simply go over to there and then click on Download Windows Drivers. Once it is done, simply open it up, click on Yes and then click on install. This will simply check your PC's hardware for driver and software compatibility, so let it run. Okay, now you guys can see that it has found my graphic card and over here it gives me an additional option. Make sure that you always select full install and not any other thing. And once you're done with that, click on no over here because this will constantly run a process in the background. But after that, click on next AMD privacy view. You do not need that. Click on install. It will ask you to download all of these drivers. I highly recommend you guys to go with all of them. Do not leave anyone over here. Click on install. All of them are really essential in order for your graphic card and your display to perform better. It will install the chipset drivers and everything. Give it a while and let it do the job. Okay, now once all of your drivers are completely installed, it will ask you to restart your PC. And once you've done that, you will be now on a screen like this. Everything will now be smoothened out and as it is before it was. Now, if you right click on any empty area of your desktop, 
desktop and click on show more icons over here you'll find amd software now once again this will open up the software in front of you and there are a lot of complicated settings that you guys can do if you are a gamer so here is a quick setup guide if you guys want to move along with this one you can simply do all of this thing i am not going to be doing it right now i'll be making a separate guide for the best amd settings so if you guys want that subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon because that is going to be a video right after this one so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also we have channel membership that you guys can see right on the screen and if you guys are not a part of the membership yet consider getting it because it really supports me out we'll see you all in another amazing video and then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out